Gemini, you're next. Oh, shoot. I got to sound clean your space. One second. All right. Sorry about that, Gemini. Um, I just got done reading for Taurus. So I had to clear the space to make way for Gemini. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from Taurus's guides. And now we're going to welcome in Gemini's guides and Gemini's star family and Gemini's angels and spirit team. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create some sacred space around us. Invite Archangel Michael to chill here with us. My guides are already here. So the Geminis that watch me, I'm going to go ahead and invite all of their guides up in this space with me. We have a nice sacred space in here. I'm speaking of sacred. Sacred. <laughs> sacred. Speaking of a sacred space, welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All right, so we're going to read now for Gemini. I've already sound cleansed the space. Let's dive right in. I think I'm going to start with <clears throat> this sacred bee tarot for yours and then move on to the smaller tarot. I don't know why. I'm going to do opposite of what I did with Taurus. All right, so this is going to be a general reading, not so love reading. Um, and we are going to be focusing on the energy of January. So, but do not fret if you find this after January. This is a timeless read. And whenever you find this reading, it's for you. There are no accidents, Gemini. So don't doubt it. If you're here, you know, welcome. This is, there's a message in here for you, my love. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what Gemini needs to know about the month of January. What do we have for Gemini? Okay. After this will be Cancer and Leo. All right, what do we have for Gemini? Well, that one flipped. Should we take it? We will. Six of Cups, pleasure. All right, so there's something or someone that's making you feel really nostalgic. And you're you're thinking of them in a really beautiful, pleasurable light. So this could be someone from your past, Gemini, that whenever you think about them, you smile. Okay. Six of Cups is about nostalgia, but it says in the bottom of the, of the, um, it says on the bottom of the card, it says pleasure. Then we have Five of Swords, Defeat. So there could be, though you have really strong emotions and feelings for this person, um, there's some type of conflict where things didn't turn out quite as well as you thought they were going to, okay? So take that how it resonates. Um, I said this is a general reading, and it's already starting to turn into a love reading. Let's hope it doesn't, but it could. I don't know. Four of Discs. So the thing is, we have the Four of Discs. So... You are balancing out the energy, okay? This four of discs is the energy of stability. So, whatever happened here, it has shifted you into a... Hold on. I want to... I feel like I want to keep shuffling for a second. So, wow. Okay. So... Whatever happened, it may not feel good, okay? I know anytime there's some type of conflict that's going on inside of us, which is being reflected on the outside of us, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel good, especially when it's it's someone from your past. Like, I feel like you really have a, a very strong connection with them. And they did bring a lot of pleasure to your life, but they also brought a lot of conflict, okay, with them. So the four of discs tells me that you're shifting into your power. Look at this, right? And you're, it's, it's bringing you into this queen of wands energy, okay? So whether you're masculine or feminine, okay, I feel like if you're watching, you could be a feminine because the queen of wands is a feminine energy, but it's shifted you and the power is now in your hands, okay? So you're, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gemini. 
but this was a huge blessing in disguise. I'm sorry. I know it. I know whatever happened, it, it probably didn't feel good. And I'm, I'm, I'm sending you such a huge, huge hug. But let me tell you, let me tell you when I say that that was God's protection because you have shifted into your power now, okay? This has done something to you, which is going to create stability and, and passion within you. The passion to do something incredible, which is to love yourself, to take back your power. It's also going to create something financial wise for you. Okay. Um, maybe it's going to inspire you to take on a new job or a new hobby or something. Wow. Look, it's so beautiful. Yes, we have strength. So spirit is saying, my goodness, like you, you came out on the other side. Look at that. Okay. We have strength, you know, um, this is the lioness card, right? It's, it's having to be strong even when we don't want to be, but not only are you, were you strong enough to get through this? And by the way, Spirit is saying they're so freaking proud of you, Gemini. Because look, it brought out this beautiful Queen of Wands energy in you. The Queen of Wands is the most... She's the fiery queen of the of the, the tarot deck. She's, she's all about passion and pleasure and sensuality. And she's very powerful. She's one of the most powerful queens in the whole deck besides the queen of swords because she not only has the drive of the queen of swords and the strength of the queen of swords but she also has the fiery passion and the compassion and the love and the kindness that the queen of swords lacks the queen of swords might have the logic and the power and the kick-ass boss bitch energy but the queen of wands has that and the capacity to show love compassion and passion and sensuality and everything she touches okay and that's incredible okay so we have the tower moment right something happened and you had to be so strong and you had to put up boundaries and you had to you had to be the queen of wands you had to be the leo right you had to show that that fierce leo lioness energy the strength is the leo card but it's about taming our demons right with love the hierophant see now you're entering into a phase gemini where you're committing to something else i'm not sure what that is yet we're gonna pull some more cards i feel like maybe you're committing to self-love The tower moment had to happen. It, was, it hit you like a, a bolt of lightning. You weren't expecting it. Knight of Discs. You know what? For some of you that... I don't know why my voice just cracked like that. <laughs> for some of you, like, if you are looking for a new connection, I feel like with the Hierophant and the Knight of Discs, you could have another connection coming in. Oh, yes, it's, it's very possible, okay? So for some of you that are looking for a new connection, it's very possible that you might have a new connect, connection coming in with the Knight of Discs. So this would be a younger Earth sign, right? Someone who's very patient, like a Taurus or a Capricorn, possibly a Virgo, right? And they will definitely be more committed to you. They're not going to play any games, okay? That's for those of you that are looking for a connection. For those of you that aren't, this, the Hierophants and the Empress shows me that this is commitment to yourself. This is commitment to self-love, okay? You've been very patient. You know, the Knight of, Knight of Discs, we're going to do two storylines. So the Knight of Discs shows me you've been very patient in growing yourself. With the self-love, it wasn't easy, but that tower moment propelled you into this moment of, of 
deep reflection where you had to choose yourself, okay? And you did. And then now you're in this energy of slowly becoming the queen of wands and the empress. And you realize it's not going to happen overnight. You're going to, you realize you're going to have to be patient. But oh, it's going to be worth it. Because the empress is, is about, you know, bringing in all of these wonderful things, these delicious things that tempt us, right? In the most delicious way. She's about fertility and you know, fruitfulness and getting all of these wonderful things that we know we deserve, right? All the delicious things that we know we deserve, okay? We're going to draw from the other tarot deck. What else does Gemini need to know about January? Wow, Gemini, I see you fully stepping into your power. This is your power era and probably your villain era too. I need to clean my damn hustling sign. It is so dusty. I don't know what happened. I usually clean it every time I come on here, but all right, let's see. I think I'll do one more read after this. Probably cancer and then I'll be done. Maybe we might be able to fit Leo in. All right, what else does cancer need to know? Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Yes, you're definitely stepping into your power era. So not only, wow, okay, I, I can't. Hold on, Gemini. So not only are you in this Empress energy, Queen of Wands, whatever it is you're doing right now, it's going to bring in some really great finances for you as well. The Queen of Pentacles, is she's the wealthiest queen in the, in the, in the tarot deck, right? She's put in the work. She's put in the work on herself and she's lavish. She sits back and she just relaxes, you know, on her throne and she looks at all the wealth she's created for herself and she sits there and she just sits pretty. She doesn't have to really work hard anymore because everything just comes to her naturally. She's magnetic. She just draws everything into her um, through the law of attraction, right? She manifests. She doesn't work hard. She manifests. Wow. So we have... Did we have six of swords? I don't remember. I could have sworn we had a six. Okay, but... So the anyways, the six is telling me that you've gotten really, really serious about your spirituality and you're starting to move forward. You're not hung up on this connection anymore. Okay. Things are going to start flowing easier for you, right? You're going to be able to manifest easier now that you are focused on yourself. The six of swords is about cutting things out of your life, cutting people out of your life. It's not looking back on the past. You're just, you're all the way up from here. Nothing can stop you. Look, you're all the way up. You're in a freaking air balloon. You're like, you know, and from now on, from this point on, Gemini, look, queen of swords, you're going to set boundaries. One second. Okay. Sorry about that, Gemini. So, <clears throat> This moment changed you, whatever it was that happened. Now you're in the Queen of Swords energy, which is the energy of setting up boundaries. And you, the, the falcon here, or the bird on her, represents wisdom. So it shows me that you are much wiser for this experience, okay? From now on, you're going to be a little bit more discerning with your boundaries, you're not just going to let any old person come in and affect your energy. You're going to be cautious about who you let into your life. All right, let's do two more cards and then we're going to go on to the Moonology deck. And we'll pick a charm for you and we're going to be done with this reading. What else does Gemini need to know? Good for you, Gemini. I'm proud of you. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Be careful of your spending. Five of Pentacles could be, you know, losing some finances. So just be careful about what you're spending your money on, okay? 
And then we have Page of Wands. So I do see whatever this person might be keeping tabs on you. Page of Wands tend to be like spires, watchers. So if you're worried about, you know, someone watching your social media, if I were you, I would just block, block, block. And you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, because you'll have a feeling of who you know who this person is that's watching you. It could be the one that you just recently cut out of your life. I don't know, right? Also, Page of Wands lets me know that you're going to find something that really like, gr like, you're going to find something that you really, really like doing that you're really passionate about, okay? And... It's going to bring you um, a lot of joy and, you know, it possibly it could be something that you do, you know, um, long term, like for your finances. If not, there's definitely like some kind of new hobby or something that you're going to find in the month of January that's going to be really fulfilling for you. Okay. And you're going to be really passionate about it. And it, it's going to, it's going to open your mind to new things. Like, I feel like there's the energy of learning and, and having fun with it. Right. But also being passionate about it. So maybe you might take like a, a spirituality class or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you'll go on a spiritual retreat. Who knows? But I definitely see that you're going to have a really great time with it. In the month of January. So keep your eye out and your options open in regards to um, trying new things. Because I see you're going to be pleasantly surprised by something in January. And you're going to go, wow, I didn't even know I liked this. But you're you're not just going to like it. You're going to love it, Gemini. All right, let's get a Moonology card for you. And then we'll pull a charm and we're going to conclude this reading, Gemini. If something resonated, please like the video and share with your friends and subscribe. It's completely free for you. It doesn't cost you a penny, my beautiful Gemini, okay? All right. We have new moon in Gemini. Oh, how fitting. Think it through. Think it through, okay? I don't know what, what spirit is telling you to think through, but... They're telling you that you need to think it through, whatever it is, okay? <laughs> if there's something you've been wondering about or worrying about, Spirit is saying, all right, let's think about it. You want to see it from all angles, okay? Don't beat it like a dead horse, but they want you to think about it. Maybe go into meditation, okay? We have the mountains here, so I feel like... You'll be able to see it from a higher perspective and a higher state of consciousness. Okay. When you think about it, you'll be able to see it from a higher, higher point of view, like from the, the top of the mountain. Okay. All right. Let's pull a charm. See, I have all of these charms. I went into meditation with my spirit guides. And we went through all these charms and got all of the meanings. Love readings and regular meanings. So <laughs> it took a long time. But it was well worth it because I wrote down all the meanings. And these charms have been such a fun addition to my fortune telling. Let's see what we have here. My eyes are closed. You can't see. But I'm picking. We have, ooh, the jungle. Let me see if you guys can see that. <laughs> Focus, the stupid camera. Can you see that? All right, so it's a Changla. Oh my God. It's a flip flop. If you can see it, it's not focusing. Ah, it starts to focus and then it goes out of focus. Anyways, it's a flip-flop. Um, in Spanish, we call them changlas. All right, so let's look up what it means. <laughs> flip-flop. Flip-flop, flip-flop, flip-flop. Where are you, flip-flop? Okay, changla. 
So it means rest. So spirit is asking you to take some time for yourself. It's time to rest, my beautiful Gemini. You're doing too much. All right. And then for the love meeting, it says traveling together or a possible trip. So for those of you that I said, if you're looking for a connection, you know, I did see a possible younger earth sign coming in. You might meet this person and, you know, they might ask you to go on a trip with them. <laughs> you know, it might seem pretty quick, but, you know, they might know what they want. Or they might say, you know, oh, I have this, you know, ticket to um, this cruise ship and I don't have anyone to go with me. Would you like to go? Or maybe they'll just invite you to a concert, like, you know, out of town. Who knows? Either way, um, I do see someone Wanted to take a trip with you, my dear Gemini. All right, until next time, we will see you in February, the month of love. My beautiful Geminis, bye.